According to the World Health Organization, there are over 34 million people uh, infected with HIV, uh, with 2 million new infections uh, every year, uh, and all of that results in um, well over a million people a year are dying from this disease still, uh, and obviously a million people a year dying from the disease is a huge problem. There are currently approximately 26 licensed human vaccines, um, and almost certainly 24 of those work on the basis of antibodies, and so most successful vaccines work on the basis of antibodies. Uh, but for a long time, it was thought that it wasn't possible to make an HIV vaccine that would work the way other vaccines have worked, that is, an antibody-based vaccine. Over the past few years, um, there were really some surprising findings made by, by multiple labs uh, that there are rare or uncommon HIV-infected individuals who make uh, very good antibody responses to HIV. And in fact, those antibodies um, look like they could be uh, protected. And so now there's a huge amount of excitement uh, about the potential for making an antibody-based uh, HIV vaccine. We feel like we've, we've made an important step forward in that uh, process by identifying that there is a particular cell type uh, that's part of the human immune system uh, that's critical for generating the right type of immune response, and those cells are really uh, specifically up, specifically increased in those rare HIV-infected people who make these really good antibody responses. We can test for the presence of those cells in blood, and we can, we can uh, quantify those in blood. And so now, um, going forward in HIV vaccine development and other vaccine development, uh, labs can test for the presence of these cells blood samples to see if the right types of cells that are there or not.